What comes to mind when you think of a father-daughter duo driving through an apocalyptic America, avoiding those who have been infected with a widespread contagion and running from marauders, thieves, cultists, and, oh yeah, the scientists who want to harvest the daughter's blood because she's immune and may be the key to humanity's survival. Ring any bells? The Night Parade by Ronald Malfi wears its Last of Us inspiration on its sleeves. The daughter of said duo is even named Ellie. It shares a lot in common with the popular PlayStation exclusive, but also has some key differences. Besides its obvious roots, I never really felt like it was just a poorly written fan fiction, but instead a well-crafted love letter to the game by one of my newest favorite authors. So far, Ronald Malfi really hasn't missed for me. I recently read his book Blackmouth, and although I didn't do a review for it, I highly recommend it, especially if you like Stephen King's It and Dark Magic with some psychological thriller vibes mixed into it. I did do a review, however, for his book Bone White, and it's easily one of my top favorite horror books. It genuinely gave me the creeps, and now I'm really itching for a reread. You can check out my review and the annotations above. I stumbled across the Night Parade when I saw that it was completely free on Audible. You can go listen to all 12 hours of this harrowing journey right now with your monthly Audible subscription. At first, the description of the book didn't quite hook me, but I trust this author and it was free, so I said, why not? I was so quickly captured by the story after just the first couple chapters, and I'd really love to tell you all about it. By the way, I had to record this in Zoom. I was having a ton of trouble earlier with other programs, so I'm sorry if the quality isn't what it usually is. When we join our protagonist, David and his daughter Ellie are already on the road, and he's in a panic while she, on the other hand, doesn't quite know what's going on. Through some context within the first couple chapters, we learn that her mom is dead, there's a massive contagion working its way through the United States and possibly the world, causing people to act incredibly erratically among other things. And that Ellie is immune and the scientists who are trying to harness her mother's immune status are now after Ellie for the same reason. We learn that David is clearly lying to his daughter about everything that's going on, and some of the best pieces of the story are her trying to figure it all out and watching his lies unravel. We get a ton of context for what's happening through flashbacks, and they work as most of the big reveals and twists throughout the narrative, and I really enjoyed these, especially as each flashback gets closer and closer to present day. But that's just the basic premise. I don't want to give any more away for spoiler reasons, but essentially we're following them as they run away from everything they've ever known and dodging various roadblocks and attacks along the way. I think what the Night Parade does really well is taking something as beloved as The Last of Us and putting a new spin on it. It doesn't feel super derivative and it really stands on its own as a fantastic story. David was interesting and complex as a character who you'll root for in some chapters and shake your head at in others. I was engaged in the story all the way through as it clips by at a pretty fast pace and there's always some new hurdle for them to overcome or sidestep. I really enjoyed listening to all the flashbacks as they add more color and imagery to this world that is starting to crumble before everyone's eyes and adds more context to David and Ellie's story, showing how they got to where they are now. The other cool thing about this world is that it's not post-apocalypse like The Last of Us, it's actually pre-apocalypse. All of this is happening very shortly after the actual contagion starts spreading, and I thought it was cool to see everything before it completely goes down the drain. Now, I will say that this was written in 2016 before everything that happened in 2020, and a lot of it is really familiar to what many of us experienced. So if you're particularly sensitive to that topic, this may be one that you'll want to skip. I really loved all the twists and turns along the way and all the encounters that they run into, and I thought the ending was really well done. Some reviewers were saying it was left a little too open-ended for them or that they felt like it suddenly just stopped, which I definitely don't agree with. It is left a little open-ended but we do get a lot of satisfying closure for most of it. 
and can use our imagination to piece together the rest, and it's perfect for a sequel if he ever decides to do that in the future. The ending really reminded me of the way that Dean Koontz ends a lot of his books, especially Soul Survivor, which also happens to be one of my favorites. Overall, there wasn't much I didn't like. At certain times, Ellie was a little frustrating with her altruistic and humanitarian ideals, while her poor dad is just trying to protect her, but I think that was kind of the point of it all. I also thought the narrator was really great, and the story didn't overstay its welcome. Matter of fact, I think it could have used another hour or two to really tie up its loose ends, but in the end, that didn't really bother me that much because I think some stories are meant to kind of fade into the distance at the end, and I think this story got across what it needed to and fulfilled the arc of the themes that it was trying to convey. And honestly, the rest really just doesn't matter to me. I definitely recommend this book, and like I said, it's free on Audible, so you might as well give it a shot. I think that you're going to have a fantastic time with this one. Well, that's going to be it for me today. I know this was kind of a shorter video, but we've got some other irons in the fire, as they say, and I think you're really going to like what we have coming up. If you want to see more shorter reviews like this one, let me know in the comments or reach out on Twitter, Discord, or Patreon, which are all linked in the description below. Also, liking and subscribing helps us a ton, and we love to see new faces around here. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did, and I'll see you next week on The Fantasy Files. And a big shout out to our first Night Angel tier patron, Shad Zaman. Thank you so much, man.